So, creators and streamers, let's be completely honest. Our workflows can be messy, repetitive, and overloaded with gear sometimes. Between having docks, card readers, hubs, lights, and a stream deck, our desks can look like a factory. But what if you could replace all of that noise with one device? Well, today I am unboxing and reviewing this bad boy, the Ulanzi D200H dock. It's a customizable stream deck plus a seven-in-one hub module designed to simplify your workflow with just one press of a button. It promises to save time, clean up your setup, and give you insane flexibility all from one device for under 90 bucks. So you are getting pro level features, but you're still maintaining a budget setup. Looking inside of the box, you get the D200H deck dock itself and a two-in-one charging and data cable, and of course your user manual. And honestly, my first impression is this thing feels really premium compared to some of the other competitors and the industry standard, which is the Elgato Stream Deck. It's built with a glass and aluminium matte finish. So not only does this look great, but it feels very solid in the hand as well. On the front here, you'll see 14 colorful LCD keys. 13 of those are fully customizable. And then the last key is this super long one here, which is a nice little window display that you can use to show your CPU, RAM, or GPU usage, for example, or you can have a nice little clock just for ease. Each key has a crisp little screen that you can personalize with icons, backgrounds, or animations from the Alanzi Studio Marketplace. And of course, we'll get more into the setup shortly, but this is where you would find all of your bindings, shortcuts, and macros from the store itself. And here's where it gets wild. If you flip this bad boy around, you've got a bunch of other ports and features, making this a seven in one docking station, as well as the stream deck over on the top. You have dual SD and TF card slots supporting UHS two up to 104 megabytes a second. So this makes this great for photographers or anybody making videos like me, for example, who want quick file transfer time so you don't have to wait around. There's a USB 3.0 gen one port with five gigabytes per second speed, which is great for hard drives, cameras, mics, and anything you need to plug in really. It also has multiple USB-C ports, including one with 100 watt power delivery. So you can even keep your laptop charged whilst running everything else, just making the setup a little bit more streamlined yet again. And all of that together makes this a workhorse for any portable setup and doing stuff at home too. This is the first time I've seen one of these decks integrate your entire creative workflow into one device, rather than it just being the shortcuts that you're normally used to seeing on these. And that is already super promising to me because I am yet to plug this in and give it a try. So let's do that now, shall we? You just plug the deck dock into your computer with the included cable. The Ulanzi Studio Marketplace app that I mentioned is free to download and it was simple to sign up and log in with. And then you unlock the Marketplace and this is where you can grab plugins. So it has OBS, Twitch, voice mod support. You can do Adobe programs like Photoshop and Premiere Pro. There was options for DaVinci Resolve as well. And there was way more. So I'll leave the link to the Marketplace below for you so you can have a little scroll for yourself. But that was just an example of some of the many supported features that this has across all softwares. I noticed that you can even download custom icon packs. So if you really want to make your deck aesthetically match your vibe, then you can. And that is a nice little added feature if you have a certain colorway in your setup that you really want to go for. Setting up the macros is as simple as dragging and dropping too. You simply grab an operation from the app that you found and that you want. You drop it onto a key, which it shows you the diagram for on your PC. And then it's ready to go. You simply press the button and boom, whatever you just set up is done. And because every single key here is a screen, you're not stuck with boring labels and logos from the companies themselves. You can do your own personal setup for every single key, which makes this just as much about style as it is about productivity and efficiency of tasks. As a streamer, this thing is a lifesaver, of course. With the OBS or Twitch integrations, you can start up your stream, you can switch scenes, you can click to mute and unmute your microphone, you can trigger sound effects or silly pop-ups, and you can do all that with a single tap by mapping it to one of those keys. Everything is right at your fingertips, and that means you can just focus on staying engaged with your audience instead of fiddling with all the settings. And thanks to the ports at the back, you can plug in your ring lights, your microphone, and anything you're using for your stream right into the dock itself. So that makes it great for a little streaming setup on the go if you need that, or it just keeps your desk looking sleek and way less messy than it did before. And it frees up ports on your PC, like thank God, because we've all got a mess of stuff, let's be completely honest, like I'm out of ports. And for creators and editors, it's just as useful because imagine having one button that imports your entire SD card, or maybe one that applies a Lightroom preset that you've built out for photos. Or maybe you want it to open a timeline or add an effect for you in Premiere Pro. No longer will we be scrolling through folders and different menus to find exactly what we want. We can just go like that and it's done. The one tap shortcuts will speed up your entire workflow. And with the dual card readers, your import process is gonna be lightning fast as well. And this really isn't limited, nor does it stop with the software either. With Ulanzi Studio, Govi, and HomeKit support, you can actually control your entire studio or office environment too. So picture this, you walk into your studio one night, you press one button, instantly the lights turn on, the brightness adjusts, your music starts playing, and your editing software opens for you. And then when you're done working, picture this as well. You set up a button for leisure mode, the lights dim, jazz music starts playing, the whole vibe changes. It really is a one-click lifestyle, one little tap of a button and the entire room can change. Endless control. 
And for all my gamers out there, this is just as good to use whilst you're playing too. Trust me, there's some really cool features that I just loved about this that I can't wait to show you. If you have repetitive in-game actions that you're pressing all the time and it's a bit of a slog to have to keep doing it, you can map that to a key as a macro and stop having to mash combos. So I can't lie, I am a massive dweeb for Final Fantasy XIV, which is an MMO that you can play online. And I can't begin to explain how happy this made me as an MMO player because I can put all of my hotbar onto this device. And look how cool this looked. It was just a really nice seamless way to game. And now I can make my hotbar on screen even messier. It's great. When it comes to gaming too, of course, you can also plug in your mouse, keyboard, headset, even your capture card for recording if you need to. You can literally use this as a USB hub and make this a one-stop shop for all of your devices. And finally deal with your cable management. I don't want to look under that desk. Speaking of which, one of the cool things that surprised me most is how much this declutters my setup. On the left here is a stream deck, which is still a great product, don't get me wrong. Elgato are doing good stuff. But for the Elgato to achieve the same things as the Lanzi dock here, you're going to need more tech. You're going to need the stream deck itself, plus a hub for it, and maybe a card reader if you're an editor. And then not only is your desk now full of all of that stuff, you've also likely spent somewhere in the range of two to three hundred dollars on all of that stuff. When the Elanzi comes in at ninety dollars and does all of that stuff for you from one device with one cable. Not only is this beating the price of all of its competitors, but it's also offering you a lot more functionality whilst it does it. So when all is said and done, who is this best for? Well, if you're a creator or streamer, maybe you're an editor, or you just love Final Fantasy XIV like I do, then the Ulanzi D200H is ridiculously good value because you're getting the Stream Deck and a Smart Studio controller with the docking station all in one for less than $90. And with their launch price right now being closer to $70, this thing is a steal. It's fully customizable, it's fully expandable with plugins and other supported apps, and on top of that, Ulanzi has promised to make regular software updates to this. So the chances are we're going to see this little dude get even better with time. So for me, this feels like the most creative friendly version of a Stream Deck on the market. And I will be doing a video soon comparing this one to all of its competitors, including the big name brands like Elgato. So if you want to stick around to see how this shapes up against its competition, then hit that subscribe button and stick around. But that's everything for this video. I'll leave the links to the product itself and the software down below if you wanted to check that out today. And if you want some free Twitch artwork before you go, I have a bunch of packs on my website, which is also in the description. So hopefully that will help you get going on the streaming platforms. Whilst you're down there, you'll also see our community Discord server, which has 300 plus other streamers and creators like you. So if you want to get some advice or maybe just make some friends and hang out, then that is there for you to join as well. And we would love to have you. In the meantime, here is your last chance to subscribe before you go. And here's another video you might find helpful on your creative journey. Hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Mwah.